Studio Cleaning Day Palette Edition. Hello everyone. If you're new here, my name is Angie the Rose and I'm a North Carolina based artist. Today what I'm sharing with you all is what it looks like when it's a cleaning day in the studio, especially if all my enamel tray palettes are dirty. Where I have five dirty palettes, I'm having to make space on my tabletop, which means I need to organize all my paint, my paint brushes, get my water ready, and lay out all the palettes that need to get soaked. First up is putting all my paint that I have on my tabletop in a box and just putting it away. Once I have my tabletop clear, I'm going to be able to spread out all of my palettes and get all the water that I need into them so that they can soak. And cleaning the palettes is a fairly easy process. I like to try to get as much dried paint on the surface as possible, which just makes it easier to pull all the paint once that water has penetrated into the dried acrylic. And the water that I'm using, it's not special, it's just regular hot tap water. And I use hot tap water just because where the acrylic is plastic, it becomes more malleable when it's warmed. If it's a slow day, I like to let my palettes soak overnight, but today I had to paint, so I was a little bit more on top of making sure that I could pull all the acrylic off of these palettes today. The best way for me to know that the paint is ready to be peeled off is once it starts ruffling around the edges. Now here's the most satisfying part pulling that wet acrylic off of the palette. Now you might be wondering, okay, so the acrylic is wet. Well, yes, it is technically, but it's only wet in the sense that the acrylic has been pulled from the enamel surface, making it easier to peel off. It's not like wet acrylic paint straight out of the tube. There might be some pigment transferred to your skin, but it's not as bad as fresh paint. You may have noticed that I've been pouring the water that's been in the trays into a jar, and that is part of my process. I don't pour any of my soaking water down my drains. The same goes for the paint water that I use to rinse my brushes while I'm painting. I also like to save the discarded acrylic pulls from my palettes. For me, it's personally just fun to have these little artifacts from all my past painting sessions. It's just a little quirky thing I like to do in the studio and I honestly just like looking at them. I will say that my favorite type of acrylic pool is one where the palette is multicolored like this one. When I'm cleaning my trays like this, it does inspire me for future paintings and gets me eager to hurry up and get them cleaned. Sometimes the water doesn't completely loosen the paint from the enamel surfaces, so I do have to go in with a little stiff brush like this one and to get all those dried acrylic bits up, I just use toilet paper and I toss it in the bin. And finally, here is the last tray that I need to clean today, pouring in that soaking water into my jar. And it's time to start pulling up the pieces that are loose enough to be pulled. For the spots that don't ruffle along the edges, it is helpful having long fingernails and able to at least scrape at them a little bit so it's easier to pull them off the surface. This tray also had some paint that was difficult to fully get soaked off, so I'm going back in with this stiff bristle brush. And here they are. All the palettes are officially cleaned and ready to start getting mixed upon. If you're just starting your artist journey and you're looking for a surface to mix your paints on, I do highly recommend enamel trays just because of the ease of being able to clean the surfaces. In the past, I did experiment with plastic palettes and they're just so much harder to clean because when you think about it, acrylic paint where it is essentially plastic, you're cleaning plastic off of plastic and it's kind of like they just inherently want to be bonded together. Thank you so much for spending the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Now it's time for me to get these palettes dirty again and work on the commission on the easel. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe and like it. I do want to start creating more full length videos of my process and everything else that makes my art studio run. Okay, bye!